1848, the British Grand Prix was not held at Silverstone. It was moved to Aintree, just outside Liverpool. A future racing ace made a modest start to his Grand Prix career here. The Australian Jack Brabham drove a modified Cooper sports car with a rear-mounted six-cylinder Bristol engine. Jack decided that um, he had already raced a Cooper Bristol with a front engine and won the, I think he'd won the Australian Grand Prix and it was, it's called the Red X Special, the front engine Cooper Bristol. And he decided to um, put the, the Bristol engine in the back of one of the, uh, virtually one of our sports cars really. And uh, he, his first race was at Aintree at the Grand Prix where he finished, I think it was about six, but he took it over to Australia and won the Australian Grand Prix with it. Because of my association, uh, with Coopers in Australia, if you like, I was driving the car when I came to England in 1955. Naturally, I went to have a look to see where those cars were built and uh, met John Cooper. And uh, we've had a wonderful association ever since. In spite of its lack of pretension, the Cooper T40 was in fact the forerunner of the technical revolution which was developed at the end of the 50s, an era of lighter cars and engines located behind the driver. This was still the age of the heavy front-engine Grand Prix car. It would be some time before the Brabham Cooper combination really made a name for themselves. The race was a major